Welcome to the Housewives of Willow Creek. Let's meet our housewives. First, we have none other than Eliza Pancakes. No one cares if her husband only makes minimum wage. She's always wanted to live like she's got the big bucks, so she's gonna spend like she does. Where's her husband? We'll worry about that later. Next, we have Katrina Caliente. This housewife was always a fashion icon, and despite the fact that her husband is almost never loyal, that didn't stop her from getting a ring on it. Not a pun intended for the fact that she just pulled out her fucking phone. You might be wondering who's wearing these risque shoes, and that's none other than Claudine Frost. You may have heard of Jeff Bezos, but do you know who's richer than him? Santa Claus. This girly is the definition of old money, and the only thing that she wants for Christmas is a prenup. And finally, we have the queen bitch herself, Nancy Landgrab. The Landgrab fortune may be as old as time itself, but it still can't buy her a decent Botox. She might be a hard worker, but the only thing that works harder than her are those implants. She's also responsible for your water and electricity, so you better pay those fucking bills on time. The housewives like to meet every Tuesday to gossip and talk shit about everybody else. But not about each other, of course. That's for the filler episodes. The housewives usually have, like, snacks or something to talk over, and it seems like today's host might have fucking forgot about that. And we can't forget about the snacks, come on. You might think that the housewives live rather uneventful lives, but you are not ready for what's in store for today's episode, because every house housewife has her secret. And you might be wondering where Mrs. Pancakes keeps her snacks. She keeps them somewhere very, very safe. Excuse me, boys, don't let me interrupt. Yeah, I figured you guys might wonder where their husbands are. They're just in the mill assigned underground bunker. It's not a big deal, don't worry about it. I mean, everybody knows that these reality shows don't actually care about the men in the family. So here at Plum Bob Productions, we just decided why not just stick them in the fucking basement. I mean, don't worry, we keep them fed and watered most days. And we keep the sports channel on, so you know, they're, they're fine. But honestly, who cares about the men? Because women at least always get a, uh, Claudine? I'm sorry, wh what did I miss? So Claudine Frost had her weave snatched and is in stomach pain from being punched in the gut. Eliza might have missed out on that and so did we. And these two seem relatively happy, but Katrina is feeling confident. That felt great, they totally deserved it. Okay, so at, at least we know who did it. Okay, all right, what, what is going on? Eliza seems to be in a little bit of a pickle now. And it seems clear that Nancy is on Claudine's side because they're sitting on opposite ends of the table. So Katrina, do you want to tell us what happened in your side of the story? Uh-huh, right. Claudine, are you doing okay? I know you seem a little bit nervous, but do you want to tell us what happened, please? It would really only... Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, oh my God. Can't we just do a talking head segment without this happening? I swear, guys, this doesn't usually happen. I mean, if you want to place your bets now for who would actually win this fight. Okay, we're all just coming to watch now. God <laughs> Claudine has felt the tangy thrill of being mean. Should she let it become part? Absolutely. <laughs> this is um not quite what I expected. Claudine and Nancy thought it was time to go for a little coffee date. Here, they can discuss their problems in private. You know, with an entire camera crew pointed at them. Also, yes, Claudine did get herself a brand new wig. I think it definitely suits her better. Can you not use your phone in the middle of a fucking conversation, please? The girls seem to admit that Katrina has been a problem for a while and nobody knows what to do about her. No one even knows why we let her hang out with us, really. I mean, she's obviously not as pretty as they are. <laughs> oh. So, Claudine... How about you tell us how you feel about the- Oh, oh my god. Nancy didn't see that, did she? Eliza, what the fuck are you doing? And why is he out the basement? Claudine, do not tell her. Nancy, hun, whatever you do, do not do something stupid. You guys are so fucked. You guys are so unbelievably fucked. Nobody's ever been murdered on live television, right? Like, this this is not safe, but also keep recording. Nancy, no. Oh my god. <laughs> God, how is he still walking? Barely walking. Oh, you're really checking your phone like that was nothing, huh? Okay, all right. You might be a little bit overreacting now. Get back in the basement. Yeah, I mean, she kind of deserved that. Is your cheek red? Okay, now I can see why you both chose to have an affair because you guys are essentially doing the same fucking thing. I mean, let's be real. You kind of deserve it. Why is your back hurting? Oh, no, your nuts are hurting. Okay, sorry.
Okay, you guys, fun time's over. It's time to stay back in the basement. Everybody else is just trying to recoup from what happened, and uh, Jeffrey is over there crying. I know, I know. You're stuck in a loveless marriage, and even worse than that, you're stuck in an underground bunker with a bunch of other guys that you have nothing in common with. But look, it's not so bad. You just gather around, watch some movies all day. This place gets pretty depressing in the off season. Eliza, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be down here. Oh, are you still trying to get oh, oh, in front of your husband? Bob, close your eyes. Bob, Bob. Oh, no. I see what she's doing, lads. I think it's time to break free. No, sit back up. Okay, yeah, you could be angry about it first, though. Gone are the days of misandry and torture, and now it is time for the men to escape. It is time for them to be free. Or... Or not. Nancy, they need to be free. You can't just keep them in there. Run while she's distracted. Jeffrey still hasn't even gone up the ladder because his nuts still hurt. Be free, my dudes. Be free. Jeffrey, hun, any day now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jeffrey, hun, faster. Thank you. Nancy, no. <gasps> Oh my fucking god. So, Nancy, do you want to talk to us a little bit more about why you did that? Uh-huh. Now, Eliza, how does it make you feel to no longer be in this world because of a foolish decision that you made? She, uh, she really doesn't want to talk to us today. Luckily, the husbands managed to escape with their lives away from their wives. They found respite in the ravines in the middle of the desert, far, far away from any signs of life or technology. If you don't count the gas station that's literally right there, with Nancy still alive, it's unsure whether these men will ever be safe. But we can safely say that for the first time in their lives, these men are free. Free from having their bank accounts drained, free from the endless nagging of their wives, free from danger. Now, how long will this freedom last? Nobody knows. Of all the money that ever I spent, I spent it.